Ooh. All right. So I want to do a review on this year because I looked around on YouTube like right when I bought this thing because I, I just passed by it on Walmart for so long and it, it, it was just haunting my, my mind. I needed to get it. So eventually it happened. And after I got it, I went on some reviews. I heard like some people complaining, oh, it didn't come with sticks. Oh, it doesn't have a screen. Oh, it's not waterproof. And I wanted to actually do a review. And I looked on YouTube, and the only review-ish thing there was was just two people setting it up. And it wasn't really a review. It was from the company, I'm sure. So this is the Ozark Trail eight-person yurt. And... Um, it did not rain last night at all, so I do not, I do not know its level of waterproofedness. I bought, uh, plenty of silicone just to seal everything up, though, and I highly recommend people do the same for any tent. So, about this thing is, it's pretty much, it takes as long to set up as it takes to stake in 16 stakes. That's all it takes, basically. This year, basically, the mechanics of setting it up is just rolling it out setting out all of the all of the main connecting stakes going inside and um, setting up the pole that sticks it up with the table and I'll get you guys in there to show you in a second about that and putting up little li little reinforcement bars for these and then coming around and staking these down so they're all taut, and that helps hold the bar in place and helps make everything just perfectly sturdy. First off, it came with stakes. I bought stakes thinking that it wouldn't have, but it did come with stakes. It came with the screen. The screen is fantastic. About these, uh, the outside flaps, these come in, you know, actually close it, close it. But uh, I would have liked as if there was a way to actually latch these things up. I've just been doing them a few wraps around this. Which, I mean, works. I've had them cl like close a little bit by wind every once in a while. But it works, and it's a very nice little bit. So yeah, let me take you inside. Also, it comes with this um, little roll mat, which is it's very very useful to figure out the orientation of this thing when you roll it out of the thing, out of the bag. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it flaps and flies. It'd be cool if these had little grommets and stakes in them as well. But I mean, I, that, that can be easily added. <laughs> Okay, so, welcome to the yurt. And so, these guys, they have little loops on here, and I'm not sure if this is where this, the, this reinforcing door pole, that was the other part I forgot about the setup, is you have to, the, this pole goes up front to kind of hold the door open. But um, they have these loops, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to go through, but at the same time, there's also ones on that side. I'm sure it's just, and if I just went on the website, it would be easy enough, but I'm sure it's just, if you were to unzip everything and roll it up and then tie them together with that, like, that would be doable, but at the same time, very rarely in an environment like this, or even in just a tent like this, do you want to leave the door open without a screen, because bugs get trapped, spe like, especially, like, in the actual, the cone of it. And that's where your head is, and you don't want bugs in your head, and it's just it's not a it's not a cool experience. So these guys, I'm I, I don't exactly know their point for for right now. They'll they'll just be there. Came with a nifty little hole here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think that might have been an accident, or it might be an extra vent. Could very well be, but it just looks like another place for bugs to get in. Okay, so that was basically all the negatives about this. this is the, otherwise, I, f I, I love this place. So, um, it comes with, with, with the pole, comes with the table, a little, little foldable table that's, um, I mean, it's, it's great for, you can fit a chair, you can scoot up, put your feet up, you can hang your little TV off of the, off of the pole and chill out in there. It ha comes with all these little storage bags, you can put anything in all of them comes with there's a million different orientations that you can do just to live like lie around here you got more than one people you can easily i mean it says an eight person tent i would never put eight people in here that'd be set eight people 
is I think if everybody is head to head, like head to head around the center with their with their feet poking at each corner, that would be pretty uncomfortable. That'd be kind of steamy in the middle. But um, you know, two people could sleep super comfortably in this thing. Like one person, like I'm doing right now, is freaking fantastic. But yeah, so there's a little home. It comes up. I'm maybe five nine. This thing comes up. I mean, over seven feet. I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't remember exactly how much it said on the box, but over seven feet. Um, this thing, this little curve or that that little pocket that holds it, it seems kind of flimsy. I would like to, when I get this thing out, take it down and like put a whole bunch of duct tape or something and reinforce it as much as possible. Um, the only problems is that like I really have involved like you know in, in the setup process of trying to get this up. There is a lot of scrapage going on here. I don't know exactly how durable these are. They seem really durable, but um, there is worry about that. I do set up my cotton here, and I worry about the durability of floors. But so far, they're all good, but this is my first time out. We'll see how long it lasts, and I will keep you all posted. But yeah, and it's a great space. Like, when I when I got it on the picture, like, I mean, it's 13, 13 feet, 13 feet, 7 feet something. I wasn't expecting how much... Um, space I could walk around in like this is my head touching like while still standing fully and I got I don't know I should have recorded how how many steps that was but that was a, that was a decent that was a decent little little parameter it also has little vents up here that air can kind of funnel in uh, the wind that when it comes down at the bottom it actually really does keep it pretty well um, you can control your temperature very well. Like when I was awake in the early hours and the late lates of the early hours in the morning and the lates of the night, it's easy to kind of like you know get this thing the temperature that you want it to be. And I mean we'll see how it goes as it gets super hot. I'm sure it probably will get kind of kind of stuffy. That that wouldn't surprise me just in. But. It is. It is of great design. I think in the in the um, air vents up there. But yeah. So it's a little mat it makes it a little more comfortable. Cot. I was worried that the cot wouldn't fit or that I'd be too high up, but it's perfect. I'm actually like right up at that window, so like I closed that just because I was. It was it worked for last night. Last night I think I actually closed everything up at one point and it was just it was perfect. I I slept amazingly. There's also a, a, a like a um, one of the air memory foam egg crate mattress things underneath. Just just perfect. A little spot for the dog. So that's kinda like a two person tent thing. Yeah. I think that's it. Not much else. That is the Ozark Trail eight person yurt. It's a little bit like a Mongolian hut and so far has worked beautifully. We'll see how it works in long term camping, but I would highly recommend it in any sort of like if you're doing like a picnic or a concert or a festival, like that would this thing is great. It'd be awesome. Be fantastic. It's it's basically just a room, your own little room, your own little yurt. It's not it doesn't even feel like a tent. All right. Thank you for watching.